Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we are learning how to remove networked modifier. So in the previous video where we've seen where we've been through networked modifiers, I said that we couldn't that we weren't able to remove them. Now we are now we are. So we are going to open up our third person character to to see how it is done. Uh, and in there we have uh, a P key that uh, learns a talent, and we have we have a server event. So we're just going to build up a little logic there that says flip flop. Uh, one first time you create the networked modifier, and we're going to store the ID like this. And second time, we're going to remove the networked modifier like this. And we're going to pass the ID as a reference. So we are improving our Wololo spell uh, with the possession talent. And it's actually adding the, the modifier and removing it uh, when we press the P key. So we're, we are first just going to check what it, what it does. If, if I hit the P key and hit it once again, it's going to revert my my charm. And if you remember, it's, it changes the cost, so I can use it when, it's ta when, when I have the talent, and I cannot remove it when I don't have the talent. So basically, if you want to build a system like Diablo 3, for instance, where you have a bunch of runes on your skills and you choose which, which runes you, you have, you will need to set up a bit of. Uh, you will need to set up a system that temporarily stores uh, the modifier of uh, your skill, the, your networked modifier uh, ID, and remove it when you switch your runes, for instance. Uh, in any case, you need to build up a, a simple system that stores the modifier and remove it. In our examples, uh, we wouldn't be able to store different. Uh, we, this system cannot store different types of modifier. So we need to remove that, for instance, and specify that in there we need to spawn the talent position and we need to refresh that node. This, uh, this event can only handle the talent position. Why? Because when you add a talent using that event, it's storing the modifier as an ID. And if you add a second talent, Talent, it's going to override the first, the first save of the, the first ID saved, and then you won't be able to remove the talent anymore since uh, you lost the ID of the first talent you added. If that makes sense. So if you want to use the add networked modifier and remove networked modifier feature, you'll have to build a simple system that stores your different talents in an array, for instance. So maybe your modifier ID is not an int, but instead a list of a list of ints, maybe. Uh, in any case, you will need to do some logic to use that properly, or use the built-in features such as statues and passive skills. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.